Welcome back to Musician's Edition. Today, we're going to look at Essential Elements again, the same one that we did last time, um, page, number 49 from page 11b, um, but we're going to look at the tambourine part, um, which is exciting. So one of the very cool things we get to do as percussionists is play a whole bunch of different instruments, right? Um, we spend a lot of time working on snare drum, um, but... Um, what's very cool is then we get to branch out and play a whole bunch of other instruments um, and with using the same concepts that we learn on snare drum, okay? <clears throat> so let's talk a little bit about um, about the tambourine. The first thing is you see I have a towel here, right? It's always nice to sit it on something um, so that it doesn't make noise when you sit it down and pick it up, right? It's a very noisy instrument, right? You just bump it and, and it makes all sorts of sounds. If you pick it up sideways, it kind of jingles around, right? So you want to, want to keep it quiet. Get something soft that you can set it down and pick it up from, okay? Um, the other thing is um, we want to talk about how to hold this before we try to play any notes on it, right? So you'll notice there is a, there's a hole in the tambourine, right? Um, you don't want to put your finger in there or your thumb or whatever. It's, that hole is not for, for holding the instrument, right? Um, that hole is for mounting it on a cymbal stand or something like that which is something that we'll maybe talk about down the road, but nothing that you're going to need anytime soon, okay? So <clears throat> what you want to do, though, is there's a there's where that hole is, you can see there's a gap in um, these what we call jingles, right? We'll talk about that in a minute, right? That's where you're going to hold um, the shell of the tambourine, right? You're just going to grab on with your fingers underneath here, right? And then I like to put my thumb on top. Some people put their thumb off to the side. Um, just kind of whatever's comfortable, right? So fingers around the shell, thumb on top, hold it here, right? Now we want to hold it up at an angle, right? And then um, we're going to play it with our strong hand, right? So we're going to hold it with our, our non-dominant hand, right? For me, it's my left hand. Um, and then with our dominant hand, we're going to actually play the instrument, okay? So um, what you're going to do is make a puppet. Maybe talk to your friend with the puppet. Um, and then with the with your fingers at the at the front of your little hand puppet here is w w you're going to tap the instrument with those fingers to get our sounds, okay? There are a few different ways we can do do this. We may talk about that later, but for now, we're just going to play right there with all five of our fingers here, okay? So now it's important to maybe mess around with this instrument a little bit before you try to play this piece, right? Um, playing a tambourine can be a little bit of an awkward thing. Um, so it's nice to just kind of get used to it, kind of feel how the instrument responds to you playing it before you try to actually put it to use in real life, okay? But once you are comfortable with that, um, you can look at the rhythms that you see on in number 49. And you see, these are quite a bit simpler than the snare drum rhythms that we worked on last time, right? So not that difficult to count. We've just got rest, two, rest, two, rest, two, and one, right? And then we kind of do all that again um, in a four-measure phrase, right? Repeated, kind of like we talked about with the snare drum, right? We play those four measures, then we play those four measures again, right? And then you see we have a similar thing at the end, or on the second line, right? Where we play those first four measures, and then a, something a little bit different at the end, um, and our eighth notes, you can see line up with the buzz strokes that we learned on snare drum, right? So at the end we play one and two and one, okay? So let's give this piece a, a shot and then we'll talk about some parts on the tambourine and some different ways that you can practice. Ready? One, two, and ready, go, one. Okay, so now a few a uh, few things we can talk about here. One is a, a way that you can practice tambourine without making any noise, right? And this can be very helpful if you're if you're in band class and your um, your director, your teacher, just wants to hear a certain section of the group play, right? <clears throat> you can still you can still practice along with them. Um, you just want to make sure that you don't make any noise so that you don't distract from what they're doing. Um, but when they're playing it, you can you can do your your little hand puppet, right? And you can play just on the palm of your hand, right? It's almost the exact same feeling, maybe just a little bit different, but very, very similar to what it's going to feel like to play the tambourine, right? So if you ever want to practice and not make any noise, 
um, whether it's during class, when other, when a uh, different section of the group is playing, or something like that, you can do this, this version. Okay? Another thing is, if you need to play softer on the tambourine, right? There's a couple things you can do. Either move closer to the edge, right? You can always just, just touch the tambourine more lightly. Um, <clears throat> And uh, then if you need to play louder, you can move towards the center. So you can hear just by just by moving where my hand is, I can get louder sounds or softer sounds. Okay? So now let's talk about some of the parts of the tambourine, right? So you see, just like we have on a snare drum, this, uh, this instrument has a head, right? Um, which is a... a pliable piece of material that's stretched over the shell, okay? And just like on a snare drum, uh, we call the, the part that, that the head stretches over the shell, right? So the shell of the tambourine, or the, the wooden part, right? Um, the head of the tambourine, okay? Now the thing that's very unique to, tambour to a tambourine is that it has these guys, which are called jingles, right? And they're called jingles because when we play the tambourine, they jingle, right? All right, so that's the parts of the tambourine. Um, that's one way that you can practice, right? Um, in a way that you can play softer and louder. So if your teacher asks you to play softer, you can move towards the edge, try to be a little bit more delicate. If your teacher asks you to play louder, you can move a little bit more towards the center and play um, a little more um, a little more aggressively, okay? All right, let's play this one more time uh, before we finish up here. And one, two, ready, go. All right, so have fun uh, playing the tambourine, and I will see you next time.